there it is again. The same shot. A beautiful woman waiting for a geeky band at the end of the show. Why don't they show the reality? Why don't they show a, a, a big fat roadie with a gut and a t-shirt that's really small moving an amp? You know, and the thing that bugs me is that these record companies keep pumping Aren't you these... going to answer your phone? Uh-huh. No, I'm not expecting a phone call. These record companies keep making these... Well, that's sort like... of the way the phone works. I mean, they, people don't book a call. They just call and then you answer it. So would you answer the phone? Why don't you answer the phone? I'm not going to answer another man's phone. That'd be like sleeping with another man's woman. I mean, that phone call, no matter how attractive, is not for me. You answer it. 23 rings. Somebody must want to talk to you pretty bad. I never let a phone ring 23 times. No, me either. Guys, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. No one ever calls me at 2.30 in the afternoon. Until now. <laughs> Maybe it's an emergency. Yeah, do you ever think of that? Huh? Oh, come on, don't start that. It's it's probably just a wrong number, guys. Oh. Well, maybe it's a very wrong number. 42 rings. What kind of freak is sitting there by that phone? <laughs> or maybe it's a group of crazies huddled around a speaker phone. Ooh. Answer the phone. Come on, answer the answer phone. The phone. Answer the phone. Guys, all right, it's just a phone call. Wait, what? listen! There's something wrong with that ring. Yeah, there's something clinging and desperate about that ring. Like, I bet it's probably some shut-in with the phone strapped to his head for an emergency. And for some reason, he dialed your number with his toes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Why would he dial my number? I don't know. 65 rings. What kind of freak is sitting there by that phone? The sound reverberating in his head. Standing shoeless in the rain. Waiting. waiting. Come on, guys. Yeah. It's not raining. It might be. Wherever he's calling from. <laughs> or they. Or it. <laughs> okay, I'll just answer it. Okay. <laughs> ah! Ah! Jeez. 80 rings, five knocks. What kind of bizarre scum sucker? <laughs> guys. I'm just gonna answer the door, all right? It's just a door, right? It's just a door. It's just a door, after all. Relax. I'm your neighbor. Why won't you guys answer your phone? It's driving me nuts. We think it might be a madman. From a place with a rainy climate. Yeah. Wait. I've heard that ring before. In Vietnam. The teacher. <laughs> Then. But maybe I can answer it now. Yeah, yeah. You can do it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. 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 You see, your subscription to Floor Covering Weekly has expired. And you will expire too. Hey, viewers. Did you know that you've been watching The Phone Show? That's right, a Kids in the Hall theme show based loosely around the telephone. So what'd you think? Well, if you did think something, give us a call at the number below. Because as incentive, one of the callers will be selected to win, at random, the Touch Paul Bellini contest. That's right. We'll deliver our guy to your home or place of work so that you can... Touch Bellini. Whether you hug him, pinch him, or just stand a few feet back and poke at him with a stick, you'll be spending quality time with an interesting physical specimen. So call us now, because we do have operators standing by. Call now. Call often. Unless, of course, this is a rerun. In which case, I wonder if I'm dead. Attention, citizens. Phone this number right now. If you are one of the first 100 callers, your name could be drawn and you could be the lucky winner. Paul Bellini will then fly to your hometown where you will be videotaped touching Paul Bellini. So phone right now and see yourself on an upcoming episode of the Kids in the Hall show, Touching Bellini.